sitting here in Switzerland, surrounded by the sound of melting water from the glaciers. I can see everywhere glaciers melting. And I know they're not only melting here in Switzerland, they're melting in different places around the world. This summer in Switzerland, glaciers have lost 6% of their volume. So compared to the volume of ice we had in uh, May, today we have lost 6% of this volume. So if we get 20 years of the same, we have no glaciers anymore. Subglacial channels are very important for evacuating sediment. They also determine how fast the glacier advances, how it flows. And we discovered these collapse features, which are basically connected to subglacial channels. They occur whenever there's a big channel and the ice is very thin um, due to, well, melting at high temperatures in summer. So these, these features develop at temperate glaciers in the Alps uh, when temperatures rise. And we realize these features, they are becoming more frequent each time and they might contribute significantly to the rapid retreat of these alpine glaciers. The, the season is a bit weird. Sometimes we have a lot of rain at high altitude, so yeah, we can see the change, of course, in the Alps. The season in which we have good conditions to practice mountaineering is clearly changing. The good period for mountaineering is now not at the same time as the touristic period. So, of course, for mountain guide, water hut keepers, and all the stakeholders linked to mountaineering, it's more difficult to live, economically speaking, because of climate change. If this glacier, Glacier de Moiry, uh, disappears, which is likely to be the case by 2070, um, of course the, the big impact is on hydropower production, but also on uh, fresh water availability in summer for local mountain farms, for even just drinking water. As soon as there is no glacier, because it fully melted, well, then you dry and you have no water anymore. So as soon as the glaciers are gone, you have water issues. So what's happening now, high in altitude, will be happening in the next, next year's lower in altitude, that's for sure. We have an urgent problem. Climate change is water change. We need action from leaders in the halls of power and we need them to understand we can do hard things, including solving this climate and water crisis.